In sport, having innate talent is only a starting point. Potential really means nothing until it's actually delivered. Great performers devote years to the task of becoming truly world-class. As Gary Player once said, the more practice, the luckier I get. If you can combine that talent with the dedication, that's when you have a successful professional golfer. When I am at home in the winter, you know, if it's blowing 40, 50 miles an hour, whatever I'm pouring down rain, I'm still out hitting balls, you know, it, it's what you have to do. And if you don't put the time in, you're never going to be successful at anything. If you go to a tour event and watch players practice, um, they're not really working on swing mechanics that much. They're working on skills, chipping, bunker game, long putting, wedge practice to a distance is so important. So little things like that, but spreading your practice out and not just focusing on your full swing every time you go hit balls. As performers clock up meaningful practice, the skill migrates from the conscious part of the brain to the subconscious. It rapidly improves reaction time, and that's why great performers are able to react to stimuli in the blink of an eye. The emotions and the pressure that you feel in the Ryder Cup is like no other tournament. I had a very emotional Ryder Cup in 2006. Personal things went on in my life that week, and I stood in that first tee, and I had no idea if I was going to top it, duff it, shank it, miss it. Thankfully, I hit it and went straight down the middle. Certainly that first tee in the Ryder Cup, your hands shake, you're nervous, but everybody's exactly the same way. You use that emotion and, and the pressure to, to make you play even better. You've got to have the self-belief in order to translate the skill that you've built up into peak performance. Any element of self-doubt can lead to tightening. And at the highest level, at the elite level, that's often the crucial difference between success and failure. I think the biggest advice um, we can give the players in, in the Ryder Cup is to go out there and show off. Give a world-class performance. Show that we're world-class players. We're not going to avoid the pressure. It's going to be there. We have to embrace it. We want the little gold cup. We want a win. Individual uh, sport is based upon our self-performance. But whenever we stand there part of a team, everything changes because you're performing for your teammates, your friends. That emotion leads to some uh, unbelievable golf. To be successful, you have to realize that winning golf tournaments or making money are not actually going to make you happy. It's the pursuit of that. And then, most importantly, is your friends and family that are around you while you're doing it. Enjoying the journey, I think, is the biggest part.